Okay, this is a brief guide on how to deploy managed bookmarks um, via the Chrome Management Console and via Group Policy. So to do it via Chrome Management for devices running um, Chrome 37 or Chrome OS 37 is really very easy now. Uh, this policy has come in since Chrome OS 37. So in your Chrome Management within inside your Google Apps Management Console simply click on user settings and select the suborganizational unit that you want to apply the managed bookmarks to so I'll demonstrate this with teaching staff and manage bookmarks is all the way down the bottom under user experience and you can see here there are manage bookmarks so this is really simple all you do is put in the URL there give it whatever name you want to do it so here is Google Classroom for example teacher dashboard, our homework site, IT user guide, things like that we put in there. Click on add, click on apply, a save rather. And that's it. And they will appear if a user logs onto a Chromebook um, or a Chrome base or any Chrome OS device and they will be there. And an example of what they look like up here I've got wheatleypark.org bookmarks and these are managed bookmarks. I can't get rid of these um, the option to delete, copy and so on is gone. I can copy the individual bookmarks but I can't delete or edit them as these are managed bookmarks. Now I'm on Windows here and I'm signed into Chrome and therefore these policies apply. If you've got Windows devices and the users aren't necessarily signed into Chrome and you still want bookmarks to apply then you're going to have to um, do this via group policy. So what you'll need to do is download the latest version of the Chrome administrative template and add it to your active uh, to your group policy. And what I've done is create a brand new group policy for the new version of um, the Chrome admin template. So if I pop on to group policy to illustrate how this is done. So I've got a new policy here that I've called Chrome Staff 2014. If I go and edit that group policy, you'll find it comes in the classic admin templates, ADM. To add a new template, if you're not doing it before, all you do is add, remove template and browse to wherever you've saved the template. So if I go into here, Google Chrome, sort them by name. There's all sorts of things you can configure and I've done a blog post about configuring many of these policies but the one which is new is managed bookmarks here. So if I edit that policy to bring it up so you need to enable the policy if you want to push managed bookmarks and when I first looked at this I thought what on earth is it going on about? It says the policy is a list of bookmarks and each bookmark is a dictionary containing the bookmark name and target URL. Now that's a little bit cryptic in terms of how you're actually meant to put stuff into this box over here. Um, the ultimate guide to Chrome, Windows Chrome management policies can be found at chromium.org forward slash administrators. Um, and there's this part called complex policies and complex policies are ones where you've got these blank boxes and then you have to add um, a sort of string, a JavaScript string and this one explains how to use this policy and the syntax that's required and it gives you an example here of the syntax that is required. Um, you, what you can't do with Chrome management is put folders in here, you can just put links. With this however you can put folders in here. So you'll notice that this one called Chrome links has children following it so that creates a subfolder. So the way I did this was took the ones I'd done in Chrome management and literally highlighted them, copied and pasted them into a text document which I've got here. So you get something like this. They're the links I want. They're the ones I want to 
put out via management they're just links to some of our sites um, uh, that we use so this is the student one so I've set out different policies for different groups of users and this is what needs to go into this box here and it starts with square brackets a space and then you have curly brackets space the syntax is absolutely crucial if you don't get the syntax exactly right it won't work then you have name and you have these quotes double quotes colon space double quotes and then this is where you put the name that you're going to appear so portal will appear and then comma space double quotes the URL bit close double quotes colon space double quotes and then the URL of the website that you actually want close quotes space close curly brackets and that is your first bookmark set that bit there and all you've got to do once you've got one working is copy and paste that at the end to, but ensure after the comma you have a space and then you've got your next one here this is Google Drive and then your next one and your next one and then at the end of the whole expression you leave a space and you put you close your square brackets so I've got one there and I keep this in a text file so I can just add it and paste it into the group policy don't for heaven's sake try and edit it in the group policy and then these are staff ones and I've got a slightly longer set of staff managed bookmarks um, here that go to other things so to show you what it looks like on Windows if I go on to um, a staff desktop and fire up Chrome it's in the remote desktop session so it opens up our um, staff homepage um, which is a public site feel free to visit it most of these links require you to log in um, if you click on managed bookmarks you'll see that they then appear so if I click on I don't know library that will take us to the school library system um, homework will take me to the homework site and so on so they'll appear under here and if I wanted to I could use that child option to create subfolders here for more bookmarks I haven't gone overboard with bookmarks because people create their own bookmarks what's interesting is how this behaves with the Chrome management managed bookmarks this set of managed bookmarks will overwrite the Chrome managed bookmarks so you don't get two sets of managed bookmarks appearing the ones that you apply via group policy override the policies that you apply via the management console so if I was to log into Chrome here this would stay and the ones which I've got set in Chrome here would not appear now for the vast majority of users I've got them set to be the same in the Chrome OS management and the same by group policy so as far as they're concerned the same thing appears management console calls it weeklypart.org bookmarks group policy calls it managed bookmarks that's the only difference between bookmarks managed by group policy and um, Chrome management policy other than the facility to add um, folders within here in group policy if you're up to writing a script and getting all your cock your um uh, all your uh, brackets that's the word I'm looking for brackets in exactly the right place but that's how you do it um, so I just read this article here and that really does tell you how to do it. it goes through a lot of other options as well and it is the sort of Bible of how to manage um, Chrome via group policy. So I hope that's useful for somebody.